Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting today's lecture by solving the last lecture we've not completed on capital gains tax yesterday. After that, the floor is going to be open to anybody that may want to ask one or two questions on capital gains tax before we proceed. And at the same time, I need to give you assignment that you are going to work on to ensure that if any question is tested on capital gains tax, you will be able to perform well. So ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the last question we have on yesterday's material, which is question number nine. We have done part of that question number nine. It was past ICANN question, and we complete the rest. So question number nine, Obioma and Sons Limited, virtual student, I believe you are all with me. Obioma and Sons Limited, a company based in Emene Enogo, has been producing vegetable oil since 2015. It has been a leading name in the production of a popular brand of household vegetable oil known as ABO, which is in high demand. Given the fact that the company is doing very well, it secured funds from its bank and bought additional plant and machine in excess of its immediate need on 1st of June 2013 for 24,600,000 Naira. The finance director convinced the board to dispose part of the plant and machine to boost the company's working capital. Consequently, on December 31st, 2015, the company sold part of the plant and machine for 37,925 and spent 5,125,000 naira as expenses incidental to the sale. Well, nobody needs to tell you for you to know that this is a partial award, this poster. Fine. The market value of the remaining plant and machine was 15,375,000 naira as at 31st December 2015. However, the issue of tax implication of these transactions is worrisome to the managing director who is visibly disturbed that the Federal Inland Revenue Service might come after the company. As a tax consultant to the company, you are required to A, state any for charging was. Now, is that as a tax consultant to the company? Well, you are not directly told to write any report, but you know, as a consultant, you must make your presentation to be formal to your client or to the tax authority because you interact. You are an interface between tax what authority and what I declare. So you must make your report to be formal to them. So regardless of whether you are not told to write a report, you should know that it is your responsibility to do what to write a report on this case. So they now say, as a tax consultant to the company, you are required to state any for chargeable asset. That means your paragraph two is going to be the list of what. Chargeable assets. I think I gave you the list of chargeable assets yesterday. When we are talking of those assets that are chargeable under capital gains tax, I told you that we have five of them now. And what are they? Number one, we have what? Option debt and what? Incorporeal property. Option debt and incorporeal what? Property. Number two, we have stocks and shares of every description. Are you about you need to put that exemption there? there. Before it has been what removed, but now it has been included. However, when the business, when the when the what there is a disposal of what of the shares and stuff to the tune of hundred million and above within twelve months, the excess of it is now going to be subjected to what tax liability. You need to put that condition there, making true. Number three, we have any asset that is created by those. Are you getting me? That is disposing them of. Are you getting me? So that is the category where all this plant and equipment, property plant and equipment belong. Am I talking? Now, this assets created by those that are disposing them of. Are we okay? Another one, which is number four. Can you recollect number four? Currency, other than Nigeria currency. 
currency other than what? Nigeria currency. And last but not least, we have what? Digital assets. Digital assets have been included among those assets that are chargeable. Are you getting me? And don't forget our discussion on ETS. We don't have any particular guideline on how we are going to be dealing with the calculating this for tax on it due to its nature. Is what is peculiar nature. Am I communicating? So you should know this one should not be your problem again. And don't forget, under this capital gains, although we don't have it in this question, you maybe have the administrators. Who are the administrators? We, we, which body is responsible to administer capital gains tax? Well, we have the two FIRS and what? SBI have depending SBI have state internal board. Are you get are you getting me? I have now ladies and gentlemen. When we say SBI have an a state board of inland internal board, internal revenue and federal board of what inland revenue, they are the two entities that are administering what. against that so with that you should be able to identify where well, these two or two bodies that every word i have companies the before under world fbi and you know when we are talking of fbi and we are talking of abuja residents we are not only talking of those who that are living in abuja every, every individual that is living in abuja abuja is within a particular state so as a result of that we can't say that somebody that is living what in abuja as an individual will be considered as abuja resident Abuja are resident are those that armed forces, policemen, are you getting me? And so on and so forth. Are you getting me? We regard them as well as Abuja world resident. Am I talking? Not just ordinary individual that is living in world in the in world in the capital territory. Am I communicating at all? And at the same time, when we are talking of SBI have as an individual, when you dispose of your chargeable asset, that means you are going to pay your capital gains tax today. I to SB what? I am. When we are having personal representative of the individual, personal representative of the individual will pay what? Capital gains tax to, are you getting to what? SB, I have, and so on and so forth. So as you know, the administrator, you should also know chargeable persons. Am I talking? As we know the word, the four chargeable assets, are you getting me? So we should know all those other ones. Now the next one. State any four conditions of granting rule over relief. What are the conditions of granting road loafer relief? Can we start number one? Conditions of granting road over relief. Number one, the, the relief must be claimed in writing. It is not automatic. The relief must be claimed in writing. It is not automatic. Number two, number two, it must be claimed within one year or 12 months. Before or after the disposal of the assets. It could be before or after the disposal of what? Of the assets. Making how many now? Making true. Number three. Number three. Yeah. Before or after the disposal of the asset. Number three. The amount reinvested. The amount reinvested should be used to acquire similar assets with the one disposed of. Assume a situation whereby you dispose of building. Are you getting me? That money must be used to acquire another world 
building. They must be in the same class. Am I communicating? Making how many? Making three. Number four. The relief is available to the business. It is the business that claims such work, such relief. Are we okay? It is not available to what? Individual. Am I talking? Another one. Can you think of another one? The relief must be granted. On the classes of assets. On the classes of assets as mentioned in the Capital Gains Tax Act. Classes of assets as mentioned in the Capital Gains Tax Law. Tax Act. Do you know the classes of assets? Can you mention them? Can you mention the classes of assets on which this word, um, rule of relief can be granted? Mention them, please. What? Class one. Who is not among them? Any mutable property? What? Land and building. Permanent structure in form of building. Are you getting, or immovable what? Immovable plant and equipment, assets. Are you getting me? After that, we are having goodwill. We have aircraft, we have okay. sheep, sheep, am I talking? Those are classes of assets. Are you saying something? We are talking of permanent or semi-permanent structure. Am I communicating? Permanent or semi-permanent wall structure. Are we okay? That is, we have under that where we are, that is class A and B. Am I communicating at all? Permanent and semi-permanent structure, and we have what? Immovable world, immovable plants and world and equipment. So we can have all these as well. Now that they are what that is one. Number two, we have what? Goodwill. Number three, we have sheep. Number four, we have what? Aircraft. Am I communicating? Those are classes of assets on which do this world. On which this capital gain starts, I mean, cap, the road over the leaf can be what? Can be enjoyed. And I think in the recent time they have included another one, which is this issue of what? Uh, what is this? Digital assets have been included as well. Am I communicating? So, digital assets. So, you should note all this. So, the C part of the question, they said we should compute chargeable gains on the assets too, and we should compute capital gains tax. And that happens to be the end of that question. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you spend some minutes to compute capital gains tax? I'm going to check your work. Virtual students, try and compute, compute chargeable gains on the assets and capital gains tax. Everybody, I give you five minutes to do that. Yeah. 
This is a question that I believe you should be able to handle on that what? On that few minutes. What are you doing? Are you doing it? Yes, sir. Are you solving yes, the question? What are you doing? And, and, and you have completed it. Okay. Yes, sir. And you can hear me perfectly now. Yes. Sir. That's great. Uh, 
I won't be stressing myself to speak with you again. So how this thing has started to be working. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is your answer, right, your student? What do you have? Virtual student. Can you respond? 9.1 million. Hmm? What is it? Uh, 
I can't understand what the person is saying. Can you understand it? How much is it? Yes, sir. What is it? What is it? What's your answer? It's 20,000. What? It's, it's 20,000. It's 20,000? How do you arrive at it? Uh, I got one million five twenty nine six one five. We are doing question number nine. Do you know? Yes, sir. For that people you are calling to me, I think. Charge I, I doubt you. It's nine million one hundred fifty eight thousand. Mine is one point five million. Yours is 1.5 million. I think that 1.5 one point five one five two nine. One five. I got one, one five two nine. Six one five. One million five hundred twenty nine. Yes, six one five. Yes. That, that should be yes. the answer. Okay. Okay. Solution to the question. I don't know what others have brought together to arrive at eight hundred and something they are mentioning. So we have, what was the name of the company? Obioma and Son. Okay. And Sons Limited. Computation of capital gains tax for which year of assessment for 2015 2015 year of assessment and how much is sales proceed Thirty-seven million twenty-five thousand. Nine hundred twenty-five thousand. And we have costs. Incidental costs on this too, sir. How much is it? Five million. Five one two five. Five thousand. What is net proceed? Thirty-two eight hundred. After that, we have cost. What is the cost? You're working. This is partial disposal, are we? So we have thirty-seven million nine twenty-five thousand divided by thirty-seven nine twenty-five. Plus, what is the market value of the balance that is yet to be sold? Fifteen three seven five. Seven five. What is the initial cost of all the assets? Twenty-four million. Twenty-four six hundred. And what does this give us? Seventeen. Seventeen million. Five zero three. Five zero three. Five zero three. Five zero three. Five zero four. What is now chargeable gain? Fifteen two nine six. Fifteen two nine six. One. Five. One, five, one million, uh -huh. five to nine point six. And that's the end of the question. So I don't know where somebody got how somebody arrived at that eight hundred or the other about. Am I talking? So this is the solution to the question. This is the solution to the question. 
so ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. Because I believe this question is too simple. I don't see anybody, I don't think anybody should be getting it from there. So far, we are still having some people that are still getting it from. There. That means they are having one or two things that they don't understand. So the floor is open in the next five, ten minutes. Ask me a question on what capital gains tax so that we address it and we move to oil and gas. That yes. Road over relief. Which part of road over? Uh, there is no problem. Beside Olufa, which other part of CGT is creating problems for you? Beside Olufa, which other part of CGT? Other than Olufa, do you now have any other part that you want us to look at? Hello, my friend. Other than Olufa, do you have any other part that is creating problems? Other CGT. Now, road over the leaf again. Let's really go over road over the leaf again. Now, virtual students, is there any part of yes, CGT, is there any part of capital gains tax that is creating problem other than road over the leaf? Somebody is still telling me here that he doesn't understand how we calculate the relief to be rolled over. I don't know whether you are in the same shoe with that person. Now, first and foremost, 
you must know the type of rollover relief we are passing. We have three types of what? Rollover relief. We have three types of what? Rollover relief. Number one, we have what? Full rollover relief. Number two, we have partial rollover relief. And number three, we have what? Nail rollover relief. Nail. Yes. Now, how do we know that a particular relief is what? Is full rollover relief. A full rollover relief is a situation whereby the amount that is invested is equal to or higher than the entire sales proceeds. The amount invested is equal to or higher than what? Than the sales proceeds. Are you getting me? Imagine a situation whereby you dispose of old assets for 5 million naira. You now invest 5 million naira and above. Let's say you invest 5 million naira or you invest above 5 million. Do you get me? You will be having what? Full what? Road over relief. You will be having full what? Full road over relief. Am I communicating? Number two. Partial road over relief. Partial road over relief. How do we know that a particular relief is a road over partial road over relief? Partial road over relief is a situation whereby the new investment is less than the proceed. New investment is less than the proceed. New investment is less than the proceed, but more, but more, more than the cost of what? Of the original asset. But more than the cost of the original what? Original asset. A situation whereby you dispose of your let's assume that original asset is three million naira and your sales proceed is 4.5 million. Am I talking? Uh, when your sales proceed is 4.5 million, you now reinvest four million two hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand is less than four point five million, but it is more than the cost of the original asset. A partial roll of relief is a situation whereby the amount that is reinvested. Is less than the sales proceeds, but more than the cost of what? Of the original asset. Am I talking? Last but not least, that is nail rollover relief. Are you getting it? Nail rollover relief is a situation whereby the amount that is invested, that is reinvested, amount reinvested is equal to or less than is equal to or, or less than the cost of the original asset is equal to or less than the original what? original asset am i talking are we I'm trying to check whether we can get a question we are going to use. If you have a question on road over relief, you can just bring out the question. If you do not have, I will need to check my laptop and bring out one question. But let me quickly search for a question here. Now, how do we calculate rollover relief? That is your main issue. How do we calculate it? Uh, it's a very simple thing. If you are reading many textbooks on this, it will not be clear at all. Some textbooks they do not really clarify how it should be calculated because they just model up things. But there is a direct approach you can be using to solve it. And I will give you that approach any moment now, but I just want to look at the question that we will use to demonstrate it.
if I can get one in the past question here. What? Last night's question is on Rule of Valley Leaf. Okay, I can bring it out. Who has last diet question here? Do you have anybody with last diet question? Or we search for it on the net. Soft copy, yeah. Just let me have it. Send it to the group. Send it to the group. Have you sent it? Have you sent it? You have sent it? Good. You will see how simple it is now. Thank you. You send your passenger. Ah. <laughs> Don't give me problem. Don't send it to her. We have to send your passenger. You perform that is a problem to me. Am I doing exam? Just send the picture, okay. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a good question. Virtual student, have you received the question? Sir, you have received it. Last I question. You have sent it to them to the factual. Advanced tax factual. You have not received it, too. you are lying. No, sir, we it's not yet on the platform, it is there now. Okay. We have it. Okay. So let us look at the question together. Now, if you see the way I can always present this question, you will be scared that hey, this is a hand. At the end of the day, you discover that there is nothing there. Most especially this advanced taxation. So let us look at the question together. This is a question of 20, I think it should be 20%. Oh, 15. It is small for 15. Okay, well, there is no problem. Even if it is 15, 15 is smart. Good marks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's stop the question. Let's look. Version Stitches Limited, Lagos. Version Stitches Limited, Lagos. It's a private Version Stitches Limited. Virtual Stitches Limited. It's a private liability company that deals in swing and sales of clothes and allied materials for medium. And upper class client in high brow areas of the country. 
Apart from his core staff in the swing unit, there are others who are usually on the move, traveling to major cities such as Abuja, Kaduna, Ibadan, Portaco to receive orders from what? From clients. Full stop. While reviewing the activities in the first quarter ended, 31st March 2022, the operating officer stated the recent increase in cost of traveling and transport salary and, and staff salaries, which had jumped up by over 150% compared to the corresponding period of 2021, had impacted negatively on the financial performance of the company. The management took a decision to relocate the business to the federal capital territory, Abuja, where over 75% of the clients reside on or before November 15, 2022. Implementation of the decision will, however, involve the disposal and reacquisition. Disposal and reacquisition. Disposal and the acquisition of some assets needed for the purpose of the business. The underlisted transactions took place between April and October 2022. Let's see the first one, number one here. The property, land and building in Lagos, which was acquired in 2008 for 80 million to 20,000, was sold for 65 million 100,000 naira. Good sales. Incidental cost of disposal included estate valuers fees of 1,675,500, renovation expenses of 1.8 million, and advertising cost of 250,000. A new property was bought in the FCT for how much? 80 million naira. This is a good question, very simple one. Now, first and foremost, how much was the sales proceed? 65 million 100,000. How much was the what? Was the new property bought? 80 million. Telling you that this one is going to be full what? Full all over relief. Because the amount they are now investing is more than what they have realized from the disposal of the old assets. This will be full all over relief. Am I talking? So let's continue. To sewing machine and other tailoring equipment. But between 2015 and 2019, which are now considered to be outdated, for 3 million 300,000 were disposed for how much? Two million eight hundred thousand new set of machine and equipment were acquired for how much? Seven million one thirty thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as this one is concerned, there is nothing like rollover relief here. Why is because they sustained loss on what on disposal? Loss was sustained on what on this. So there is no new award. There is no. And you don't need to say that uh, there will be nothing like rollover relief on this one. Am I talking? And they were what they have used to buy a new set of assets is of no use as far as the solution here is what is concerned because the asset was not sold at what at a chargeable gains at all. Am I talking? When the asset is sold at a loss, you don't have any chargeable gain that you are rolling over. Am I talking? Uh, the third one. A 10 kVA generating set, which cost 1.5 million in 2017, was disposed of for 1 million nine hundred thousand, and another one was acquired for how much? Two million four hundred and fifty thousand. Now you can see 1.5 million. It was disposed of for how much? 1.9, and another one was acquired for how much? This is also full what? Full of relief. Oh, is that the end of the question? It's a very ridiculous way for your level. As the company's accountant and who is in charge of preparing and filing of tax returns to the appropriate tax authority for each of the listed what listed transactions, as the company's accountant, you have to compute the capital gains tax, if any, to compute the rollover relief, if any, determine the cost at which the capital allowance will be granted to the company by the tax authority on each of the newly acquired what acquired assets ladies and gentlemen this is a good question very simple one so let's see the solution to this question and you are not going to you ask me anything you don't understand well a computation of what we have what computation of of Capital gains tax for which year? 
2008. Twenty twenty two year of assessment. Are we okay? We have property we have showing sewing machine and you have what generating sets you have your time to spend on so many things so know how to save your time under the exam condition so while they are sold on the same year, you can prepare them together. If they are sold in different year, you can separate them. Am I talking? Now, we have sales proceeds. How much is sales proceeds? How much is sales proceeds for the first asset? 65 million. The second asset, 2 million. The third asset, what? 1 million. 900,000. Are you with Ayuba? Now, after this one, the next thing is now to do what? Incidental cost on disposal. For property, we have estate valuers fee. How much is valuers fee? Six hundred and. Renovation. How much? An advert. How much is advertising? Hello, everyone. This one will be deducted. Don't forget, we don't have all this in this other asset. Net proceeds. What is net proceed here? Two eight and one nine. So what do we have? Right, this should be the first question that one is going to attend in the exam. You use this one to at least boost your mole. Okay, what do we have there? 60 what? Point what? Impossible. Okay, point five. It should be point two five. Are you sure you are, you are sure with your calculation? Okay. This one six Lisa, it's not correct. It's, not it's correct. It's six one six seven two point two five. Oh, advertising is 250,000. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, that means there is a mistake in what we have put here. 
So it is 250,000. Sorry. Okay, what do we have? Is it now correct? Okay, sorry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is now cost? Property is 18 million 220. Are we? Switching yes. machine is how much? 3 million? And last but not least, one million what? Chargeable games. How much is chargeable games? Forty three million. This one is a loss of how much? Loss of how much? Why gain is how much here? 400. We have to note this. Okay? The next one is for capital gain tax. Because that is what we are required to calculate. At what percent? So this one will be what? Four million three twenty point what? Two five. Nail and what? Forty thousand. And that is the end of how many marks? Seven marks. Are we? Is it seven marks? This should be a Murebu sign in the exam. Is it clear to all of you? This should be a Murebu star question. There is nothing in this question at all. Now, B part of the question. Five marks. B, this is A. Hello? Mumba? Mumba? Ah, you don't know it's not a problem. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's step forward. B, which is five mass question, they say we should calculate what roll over what relief. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how we calculate it. And I want you to pay attention here. Now, B, roll over relief. We can only claim roll over on those classes where we have chargeable gains. We don't claim road over on the asset where we have what chargeable loss. So that swing machine is out of it. Am I talking? So we will not claim our road over on property and what generating set. How do we claim road over? You see now, property.
Hey, bro, you don't start again, no. Mr. Riva, don't come out, oh. Welcome back, sir. We cannot hear you, sir. Lower of A. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Lower of A. When we say A, you pretend as if you want to calculate what it is. Chajibugi. By comparing the same schools with the cost of the work as six. Are we okay? Now, you now say, proceed. How much is that proceed? 65 what? Cost. The total cost this time around, not just the original cost of the asset, all the what, the other costs. Are you getting me? That, that is 18 million plus the other, also, this other incidental cost. This one will be 1 million 900. Why will we be having what? 
one million five hundred a for this one. What of this one? Eighty million. Eighty million or twenty one million. Twenty one million. Twenty one million. Eight nine seven point five. Are we okay? We add all the calls together. Am I talking? What is now chargeable gain? How much is chargeable gain? It is still forty what? Why this one is still how much? For on the lower of A, this and B. You can see that what we did there is just to repeat what we have before, Abby. We repeat the calculation we have carried out before, Abby. Now look up and listen now. How much they have reinvested, Abby? They have bought new assets. What is now cost of the new asset? How much is cost of the new asset? 80 million. What is the cost of the new asset under Genset? Eh? Two million. Four and fifty. Are you getting me? So instead of using proceed here, yeah, we are now using cost of the new world of the new asset. Am I talking? We will still compare cost of the new asset with original cost. What is original cost for the first one? 21 million. Uh -huh. 897.5. And we have what? 1 million 500. Is it okay? Do you get it? Okay. Oh, yeah. What is now the gain? What is the difference? The difference is how much? Uh -huh. 102.5. Why this one is how much? Nine fifty. Ladies and gentlemen, do you get this calculation? Do you get it? Roll over. That's the end of roll over. That is it. You know to which one is lower? Out of 43202 and 58102, which one is lower? So that means you're rolled over. A month to roll over. A month to roll over. We now be forty three two zero two point five. Amount of roll over here is how much? Four hundred. Chargeable gain. Nail and nail. And that's all. Are we okay? Yes. It's as simple as that. But I always wonder any time that I can't set question on rollover. It's like they want everybody to pass the diet it is testing. What do you say? If you set it this diet, yes. I have a You like I have a Okay. Do you get it clearly now?
How they present it in some textbook is not really clear. But if you can master this rule, just straight away you get your whatever. Yes, it will reflect. That means the amount to be rolled over will not be up to chargeable gain. The balance there will be chargeable gain. It won't be nil if it is partial. Am I talking? Uh -huh. If it is nil rollover, it is nil you are going to have here. Are you getting me? Nil that you are going to have here. So that it is the total amount, the, char the total chargeable gain will be exposed to what? Capital gains tax. Are we okay? And that is the end of what? Of another five marks. Are we, is it not five marks? Is it not five marks? Yes. It is. The last three marks. C. Determine the cost at which capital allowances will be granted to the company by the tax authority on each of the newly acquired what? Asset. On each of the newly acquired what? Acquired assets. You're welcome. Now we have the first asset. What is the first asset? The second asset? And the last asset? You are entitled to one mark, one, one mark here. What is uh, the cost of the new asset? Original cost. How much? How much? 80? 80 like how? 80 million. The next one? No, no. Is no more on the system. I think it's still the same thing. What do you want? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is the cost of swim machine? The cost of acquiring new swim machine machine? Seven million. And what of gen set? 
two million four hundred and fifty. Roll over relief. Nail. How much is rolled over on the first one? Forty three. Followed by forward carrying amount. This one is still seven million one thirty. Uh -huh. This one will be what? Thirty six million. Why this one will be what? Are we okay? Are we okay? So that is virtual student. Virtual yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Do you get this one clear? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> this was uh, this is last diet question. That means if you see for last diet question and you can't get this one right, by now you should be able to know how to handle it. It's a very simple question. A question that one can use to do or to save time. A question that one can use to at least think of other questions that prove to be stubborn. Hello? Can you get me question number three? And question number three. Yeah, this is pilot question. Question number three, pilot question on advanced taxation. Do you have pilot question? Do you have pilot question? Can you please? Yeah. And that's going to be the last question we'll be solving on what? On um is it going to be clear? Are you sure? Oh, can we allow the way? Obama, now wow. <laughs> Send it to me. Student, you. Good morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chief Obama. You are welcome. 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 Good morning,
I'm very gentle. Okay, I you say you look just What do you say? I said you give share in Obama job. Oh my take from Babin. Okay, ah, the train and where where? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see this question number three. High power Nigeria limit. I have just ordered that question to you, and with that, we will bid farewell to what to uh, capital gains tax. So let us see what we have in this question. High power Nigeria Limited. It is a 20 mass question. Though it was not tested by ICANN, it was one of the what? One of the um, ICANN uh, pilot question. Pilot question. Pilot question. Let's see what is there. High power Nigeria Limited. High power. It's a company located on Ekpan Road, Wari Delta State, and has created a niche for itself in the area of manufacturing of a special type of fabric, mostly used by the Niger Delta people. In 2009, the company acquired the building for the business within Crown Industrial Estate, Wari, at a cost of 35 million naira. It also acquired fabric weaving equipment and generation set at cost of armor. 16 million era and 13 million 500,000 respect. In 2015, the company began to experience difficulty in meeting its customers' demand as a result of poor performance of its aging equipment. Uh, to care of the threats from competitors, the company re-strategized and resolved to make a new start in the year 2016 by selling off its assets and use the proceeds to augment the acquisition of new ones. The building was sold for 45 million naira, while the equipment and generating set was sold for 14 million naira and 15 million 300 respectively. A new building was acquired on the airport through for the same business at 75 million naira, while the equipment and generating set were acquired for 17 million naira and what? 13 million naira, respectively. You are required to compute A, capital gains, B, road over relief if available, if any, and C, capital gains tax payable. This is a question of 20 marks. Are we okay? I'm imagining a situation whereby. You are given a question like this for 20 marks at this level. You just be smiling. Because what? You will be smiling. You need two of these. Wow. You will get it. So let's see what is there. Um, capital gains is the first thing. Capital gains is the same thing as chargeable gain. Here. Yeah. Are we okay? Okay. A. We have computation. Of capital gains. <coughs> For which year? 2016. 2016 tax year. Don't forget, tax year is the same thing as year of what? Assessment. So we have three types of assets. What are they? Building, uh -huh. gen set, and what? Equipment. Building. Within equipment, and what? We have sales proceeds.
building equipment. I mean, building. How much is sales proceeds? The building was sold for how much? Gen sale was sold for how much? I mean, equipment, while equipment was sold for how much? 14 million. And Gen sale was sold for how much? 15 million 300. Oh, your cost, original cost. Original cost of the building was how much? Jen said, what? And um, Last one. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Chargeable gain. That is capital gain. Slash loss. How much is capital gains on building? We have what here? And we have gain of how much here? Are we, it was similar to the question we have just finished. That is a part of the question. Pilot, I just saw pilot for pilot. I just saw pilot. They didn't put any year on in pilot. Things are tell account that on professional level pilot questions. What? It should come out. It should come out. <laughs> ah. B. Roll over relief. Now, ladies and gentlemen, within equipment should not be considered for what? For rule of because there was loss on it. Am I talking? Now, with that, we will have building. And we have what? Generating sets. Imagine a situation whereby this question is given to you for just 15 months. Will you do it? 20 months. Okay, no problem. Ah. You need to do this to 20 marks. You can have five, you can have five marks to it. If I say this type of question, I will put nine marks there. 30 marks, sir. 100 marks. 30. Somebody is asking for this. You don't want to do anything before you collect our certificate. I know that is okay. Okay, 10 is okay. How much is chargeable gains or capital gains? How much? And what? Okay. The dots, the lower of A. Sales proceeds and cost. How much is sales proceed? And cost is what? Giving you what? This one is what? 53, are we? 
as against what? And we have what? Are we? And B. New investments. How much is new investment? Original cost. Give me a difference of how much. New investment, other the old one is what? Other this one is what? How much? And we have what? Original cost, how much? Eh? You should you can't use starting five. You are going to limit it to what? To the amount you have here, which is thirteen. At the end of the day, what are you having there? Hey, sorry. What do you have? Nail. Am I talking? Amount to roll over. So where you are having, where the cost is more than the cost of the new world. It's more than the cost of the new investment. Are you getting me? You are going to li limit it to what? Cost of the new world investment. So as not to have negative. We can't be talking of negative here. Am I talking? So ladies and gentlemen, what do we have? We have amount to roll over. Ten and forty. Which one is lower? Ten. One million eight hundred and nil. Which one? Nil. We have nil here. So capital gain. How much is this? Nil. How much is this? One eight zero zero. <laughs> this is a stupid question. Ah, I can't believe this. See, capital gain starts paying. We have what? Gen set. We have capital gains of how much? One million multiplied by what? 10%. Which gives us what? And that is the end of that question. <laughs> You can see that they're supposed to put like seven marks, eight marks to this question. What? So the next thing is to move to work, oil and gas. Yeah. It's what? How many did that be there? Oh, sorry. That is a um, slip of hand.
So we are moving to oil and gas. Another sure banker area that if it is tested, you will also be praying that uh, I mean, they are, you will be praying that uh, they should test it by the time we are through with it. It's as simple as this one as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us step forward. Oil and gas. Open.
open your material to page 9, 10. It starts from page 9. Where we have the format. As far as this topic is concerned, virtual students, do you have something to say? Hello, virtual student. Hello, sir. Yeah, Hello, you have, sir. You have something to say? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us see the format. No, sir. For this oil and gas. Under this oil and gas, you should be able to know those three income that are recognized as income under oil and gas. Beside that, you should be able to be fam to familiar yourself with what? Allowable and disallowable what? expenses. Allowable and what? Disallowable expenses. This is one of the areas that we want you to work on. In fact, there was a particular day, like May 2020, was it November 2022, when students were asked to give the list of what? The salib was it allowable or disallowable or expenses under what oil and gas? Just list alone, and uh, it attracted 10 marks. So that means if you know those expenses that can be what deducted and those that could not be deducted to arrive at what uh adjusted profit or assessed good profit, uh, you will score you are going to score good marks as far as that question is concerned. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some technical jargons under this oil and gas, you must familiar yourself with it. As we are proceeding, you are going to see most of, most of these uh, jargons. Now, how do we calculate chargeable profit? This one, tax under oil and gas. The format is here. This is how we calculate tax liability. We start from the proceed on sales of chargeable oil. So, proceed from sales of chargeable oil, value of chargeable oil disposed of, and any other incidental income. Before, we will have, there are four. We have chargeable natural gas as part of them. But now, chargeable natural gas has been removed. If you are having any question that is solved, and it has chargeable natural gas in it, that was old word, old question. Am I talking? So any question that is going to be paraded in the recent time, we now have what? Chargeable natural gas. So we have three income that we can be added, we can add together to arrive at total income under oil and gas. The first one is what? Proceed of sales of chargeable oil. The next one is value of chargeable oil disposal. Why other one is what? Other incidental oil income. Now, ladies and gentlemen, under this proceed on sales of chargeable oil, they are in two ways. We can have what? Proceed from chargeable oil sold locally, domestic sales, and we can have those that are exported. Am I communicating? So we are going to look at this. Value of chargeable oil disposal. There is a way by which you calculate value of chargeable oil disposal. And we have any other incidental work income. Like balancing charge is one of the examples of what? Other incidental income. Any other services that are rendered by this one. Oil and gas company, they are part of other incidental work income. And so on and so forth. So you need to familiar yourself with uh, some of these work, other work other income, incidental income to what? To oil and gas company, so that you are not going to be classifying wrong things as part of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, total, I mean, total income less allowable expenses. When we deduct allowable expenses from total income, we arrive at what? Adjusted profit. Or if there is no loss, if there is loss, I, I, I mean, if there is no loss, if an adjusted profit is going to be the same thing as what? Accessible what? Profit. If there is loss, are you getting me? That loss can be relieved against the world. The profit in that situation, adjusted profit less loss. Relief. We arrive at what? Accessible world profit. Are you getting me? The calculation of capital allowance is another peculiar area under oil and gas. The way we calculate it, so it is lower of actual capital allowance, eighty-five percent of accessible profit, less one seventy percent of what? Uh, petroleum investment allowance. And that actual capital allowance we are talking of, it has many things in it. Are you getting me? Capital allowance for the year, balancing allowance, that's number three, and what? Balancing, I mean, capital allowance brought forward. Capital allowance for the year, capital allowance brought forward, and what? Balancing allowance. They are what is going to make up our what? Our allowance that we are going to compare with 85% of what? 
of accessible profit. The lower one is what we are now going to deduct from accessible profit to arrive at what? Taxable profit. And as far as this taxable profit is concerned, the next thing we are going to do is to remove the tax liability where there is no memorandum of what? Of understanding. I mean, to calculate tax liability where there is no memorandum of understanding. If agreement, if agreement exists between the work, between the company and work, and NNPC, are we okay? So that means that memorandum of understanding will be a reduction on what could have been total tax liability. Am I communicating? Memorandum of understanding is going to be a deduction. It should be a deduction from what? Tax liability to arrive at what? The net tax liability. Am I communicating? So, this format is what you must be conversant with, and it is not difficult to do or to know. And at the same time, at the end of this lecture, I will enjoin all of you to make sure that you familiar yourself with as many uh, allowable expenses as possible. Familiar yourself with what? The allowable expenses as well. That is what is going to give you the opportunity of identifying them in the world, in the exam. And when you are able to identify that this one is expected to be part of what? allowable and you allow it, Definitely, you get your answer right. Am I communicating? So, note it. So, let's now see what we have in the material. We are starting from what? Proceed from what? Disposal of what? Chargeable oil soap. I think that will be on page what? Page what? Page 10. Peter. Don't forget, we said that proceed. From chargeable oil sold. I told you we can have local sales, which is domestic sales, Abby. Domestic sales. This will be equal to number of barrels sold multiplied by cost per barrel. Number of barrels sold multiplied by what? Cost per barrel. That is how we are going to be getting local work. Local six. Whatever we are given as the naira value per barrel, we multiply it by the number of the barrels that are what that are sold, and that one is as simple as that. The next one is what uh, exports. This is what number of barrels so multiply by what. Multiply by adjusted what? Posted price. Adjusted number of barrels so multiplied by what? Adjusted posted price. Now there is one thing with this, yeah. What? Let me increase the ones. Are we okay? Yeah. Now, even if a particular figure has been given in the question, you still need to calculate it so as to compare. You need to calculate it so as to do what? To compare. So, 
when you are comparing, which one are you going to choose? The higher one. Are we? You are going to choose what? The higher one. Quantity so multiplied by posted price, actual price, whichever is what is higher. Poster, adjusted posted price will be compared with actual price. Whichever is higher is the one we are going to choose for our calculation. I might also note this part. Don't forget, we have two things here. We have domestic sales and we have what? We have what? Eh? Export. For domestic sales, there is no issue. Whatever we are given per barrel for the domestic sales, we multiply it by the number of the barrel. For the export, we multiply the number of the barrel by what? Adjusted process price. Assuming uh, uh, on assumption that that adjusted process price is higher than what? Than actual price. Posted price. Uh, posted. On assumption that it is higher than what? Than actual price. Where it is not higher than the actual price, we are going to drop you. We make use of what? Actual price. Am I talking? So note it. This is these are facts you need to know. So as far as this question and this one is concerned, calculation of adjusted posted price. Calculation of adjusted posted price. So we have posted price 55, adjustment 50 um, dash dash. And we have adjusted posted price given. Are we okay? That is for the first what income, first set of income. The other income is determination of what chargeable oil disposed of. This is where care needs to be taken because any blunder you commit here, we have a long way to go. So we have value of oil disposed of. That is reduced quantity multiplied by what posted price, cost of transportation, and cost of what maintenance. All these will be added together as what the value of chargeable oil. Disposed of, disposed of, and don't forget value of chargeable or value of oil disposed of. It will be reduced quantity multiplied by what posted price. All the information on that will be given in the question, followed by cost of transportation and cost of what material. So we have computation of reduced quantity here. For the reduced quantity, we have. Quantity produced, less quantity used for production, quantity return to formation, and loss through evaporation or any other thing. Quantity produced, less quantity used for production, less quantity return for, for to formation, and what? And any other what? Any other loss that might be sustained. So all these will be deducted from quantity. These three will be deducted from quantity purchase to arrive at what? Reduce what? Reduce quantity. And by the time you are making use of the information in the book of other parties, it is the reduced quantity you are going to make use. Are we okay? Now, computation of depreciation. As we normally do, depreciation on oil and gas is based on a straight line. Are we, except for the last year, we had the depreciation on each asset is going to be computed on the world at what rate? 19%. At what rate? 19%. No number of barrier, number, no, I mean, Number of barrels deliver to refinery through what? Through pipeline. All of our total capacity of the pipeline multiplied by what? Depreciation. That is how we will be calculating what? Depreciation for each class of what? Each type of what? asset. That has what? We are, we are going to prepare a statement of. Now, oh yeah, let's come. The value of chargeable natural gas. Don't forget. I have told you that the value of charging natural gas is no more part of what? It is no more part of what? The gas that is oil and gas, it has been removed. But that does not mean that we should not still look at the calculation. Because calculation on this look can be tested as a whole world, whole question. Calculation on this what? Charging natural gas. It can be tested as, own, as, as, its own, as a whole world, whole question. So let's see what we have. For any petroleum producing company, the ascertainment of all chargeable natural gas in the period shall be the sum of gross profit over the what? Under the individual gas sales contract in accounting period. Let's give factor what? Allowance. Now, 
gas production cost adjustment factor as applicable rate percentage of such individual gas sales contract as specified in the table to the schedule four as schedule below. So we have load factor and we have G factor. We have tax what offset. From this, is there any, and in there is there any information we can obtain from this? Somebody. Can we obtain any information from this? Somebody? Somebody? We have 1.4, 1.2, 0.1. I mean, one point what? Sixteen point nine minus fifteen. Zero point four. Eh? One point okay. Sixteen point nine minus fifteen. One point four. Sorry. Fifteen point five minus twelve minus fourteen. Twelve point. I mean, one point what? One point two. And the last one. 0 0.7. I will say that is the difference between each of these things. So you need to commit them to memory. You need to commit all these to what? Thank to you. memory. Are we okay? Don't forget, we are having load factor and we have G factor. Load factor is in degree. We are G factor will be in what? Percentage. Load factor is in degree. G factor will be in what? In percentage. And you will see that G factor is reducing as the percentage continues to be what? To be increasing. G factor continues to be what? Declining. Are we okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, Memorandum of Understanding, Tax Offset, Memorandum of Understanding. With respect from 1st of January 1998, the federal government of Nigeria entered into an agreement with the oil producing company. Memorandum of Understanding, as I can ask for, has entered into an agreement with some schools that their graduates will be writing I can find now. Level. They call it my cutie. So, ladies and gentlemen, so we have here Nigeria enter into agreement with the oil producing company. Memorandum of understanding granting was started incentives for the following objectives. Number one, enhancing crude oil. Number two, encouraging investment in exploration and development activity. Encouraging investment in the area of enhanced oil recovery project. Encouraging investment in gas utilization, encouraging investment, encourage what? Investment in gas utilization project, encouraging increasing lifting, increased lifting and sales of NMPC equity crude and effectively crude, I mean, and effectively reducing to tax impact on competitive, competitive what? On, 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 on the tax impact on companies engaging in petroleum work operation. MOU applies to petroleum companies operating joint control or joint venture with what? N National Petroleum Profit World Operation. Formats for granting MOU are this chargeable process. After you have got your chargeable profits, you get me, you get what? Accessible tax at what percent? 15 percent, 50 percent, 85 percent. That accessible tax, you are now going to remove whatever is, is the balance. You are going to remove MOU from it. Am I talking? You remove MOU from it, so, and that is how we arrive at what? The chargeable word. The chargeable gain that is going to be exposed to tax liability. Are we okay? So note this format is very important. This issue of MOU, it is seldom tested in the question. When I can set question on it, you should be able to get it right. Chargeable profit, after that we have accessible profit at another 35 to 85%, and we have 
memorandum of understanding. Are we okay? So, note it. Investment tax credit. Investment tax credit. We define from 1999 a crude oil producing company, which executes a production sharing contract with the Nigeria NMPC in 19, but although throughout the world, throughout the duration of the procedure, sharing contract, claim in investment and allowance and what? And credit allowance be what? A tax or and credit allowance. Uh -huh. Format of a computation of chargeable tax when there is PC agreement with NMPC in 1993. So we have seen this particular one. We have accessible tax. We have IT of uh, charging profit, and we have chargeable tax. We have share of chargeable tax. NMPC and oil companies share of the chargeable tax. So this is the format we are going to apply. Are we okay? Note the percentages of NMPC and for the oil produced company are in accordance with the reporting of the percentage of what of reported what profit. Are we okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I will appreciate it if you can read this one up so that you are able to gain one or two things from it. Am I talking? So, ladies and gentlemen, we have question number one here. This is a walkover question for all of you. All of you read the question and tell me the solution. Walkover question. Based on, the, on what we have said today. I'm looking at it, it's also looking at me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me.
Have you solved that question? Let me see. Kadosu, Abi. Is it not Kadosu? Yes. Okay, let's look at it together. Okay. Uh -huh. 
First and foremost, let's go to where we have the calculation for that. That's not part of this word. Adjusted post price. Is it that not what we are going to calculate? Computation of adjusted post price. Abby. Yes. Now, to calculate adjusted post price, the first thing is post price minus just adjustment. Post price minus what? Adjustment. Yes. Now, adjusted post price. You have posted price in the question. And what? To arrive at what? Adjusted post. Let's now look at the question. Cardoso Oil and Gas Limited is a company engaged in sales of crude oil. Engaged in what? Sales of crude oil. In 2022, 300,000 barrels of 41% gravity of, I mean, 41 degree gravity of crude oil, oil was what? Was produced in which 40, what? 40 what? 40% 40 is sold locally in Nigeria at how much? 35,000 naira per what? Per barrel. Okay, okay. And the balance transfer to Turkey, we are API standard, stood at what per what? 45 degree. And price at how much? 50 what? $50. It has been agreed that every degree rise and fall attract what? 0 0.75 what? Assuming the exchange rate stood at how much? 700 to what? To $1. Calculate the value of chargeable oil suit for tax purpose. Something like this can be part additional information to a whole question. Now, you know, here we have domestic sales and we have what? Export. For domestic, so we, what do we want to calculate? Calculate the value of chargeable crude oil. Value of chargeable what? Crude oil sold. Are we okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have domestic. That is the local sales. We'll be having 40% of how many? Multiply by how much? And what does he give us? Huh? Four million? Four billion? Four point two billion. Are we? Okay. That is export. We'll be having 60% of multiplied by the price that we have not determined. We now sum the two together. Are we okay? Poster price, that is standard poster price is what? Working. Standard what? And the pocket, the price, I mean. The price to that, how much? Posted price to that, how much? 50 what? $50. Is this one clear to you? Adjustments. Now, let's see what we have here. We are told in the question that uh, as far as this uh, locally, okay, power, okay, 300 barrels of what graffiti? 41 what? But API standards stood at what? 
So that means we'll be having 45 degree minus what? 41 degree. It reduces. Abby. And what does it give us? Huh? Four. So far it gives us four. There will be a reduction. Am I talking? Now, and we are told in the question that for every increase or decrease, it will attract what? It will attract what? So, so far, did that mean multiply by what? 0 0.75. To know the abatement. What does it give us? Three. Three. Are we adding all we are deducting here? Huh? We are deducting. Am I talking? Now, let's and gentlemen, 50 multiplied by 3. And minus 3, please. We have $47. That is what? Adjusted what? In dollar. Adjusted process price in what? In dollar. Are we okay? So, let's and gentlemen, what is adjusted? Posted price in what? In Naira. This is not what? 47 multiplied by, what is the exchange rate given? 700 Naira. And what do we have? 32,900. That's what? 32,900. 32,000 what? How much are we now going to use to multiply this? Thirty what? Thirty-five is what we are going to use because it is lesser than thirty-five. Are you, the higher of actual and what and adjusted. So we multiply this by what by thirty-five what? Are we okay? We multiply it by what? Thirty-five thousand because thirty-two thousand nine hundred is lower than thirty. And we have said that it is the higher of the two that we are going to. But you must firstly calculate it. If you do not calculate it, there is no way you are going to know whether it will be lower or what or higher. So that calculation must be done. Am I talking? Now, what do we have now? Six million. Three million. Six billion. Three hundred thousand. So we are now having ten point five what? Ten point five billion. This one should be M with the way we have arranged it. If we put B there, it is point that we are going to have in front of those one. Am I talking? So this is the calculation of what? This is very important. Most of the question on what? On oil and gas. This is the area where they can do. If you know allowable and disallowable deduction and you cannot handle this part, there is a problem. There will be a problem. So you must note how we calculate this. Note how we calculate this in the question. Are we okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, in, um, in 2019, a, a question number one was still on oil and gas. Question number one, it was oil and gas. Here, we are sales of crude oil, export 1,900,000 barrels. So in 2019, let me give, bring this one as example. Are we okay? 2019, November, May 2019 question. May 201 question. I will just want to bring out something here. We are told in the question that sales of crude oil. Sales of crude oil. We have export. 
Export is given as 190,000 barrels. And we are given certain amount. We are given 2, bill, two billion eight hundred and fifty million. Are you getting me? That's what, and we are told that there are local sales as well. We are not given the number of the barrels that have been sold for local because that local doesn't have any problem. We don't have problem with the local. Whatever we are given is what we are going to make it. And so there we have 653, 630, 653,700. 653,700. Now let's get to me. As part of the additional information, which is note one in that diet, that is the only note that relates to this issue of what? Uh, sales of crude oil. Note one, tell, they tell us that we are told that posted price, posted price for crude oil, for crude oil exported. Average. Fifty-two dollars per what? Per barrel at an exchange rate of zero six naira three zero six to what? To one dollar, and that is the end of the question. Now we don't have any this for any degree of yard about here. So this is still a question in one diet. And we are told to calculate what? Value of chargeable approved oil. Are you getting me? Value of chargeable value of what? Crude oil sold. Are you getting me? Now, to know what? The value of the crude oil that is sold, there, chargeable crude oil sold. As far as this one is concerned, we have been given the value for export. We have been given the value for what? For local sales. As far as the local sales is concerned, you are going to repeat the amount that has been given to you. There is no issue in it. But for this export, you still need to determine whether the posted price given is lower or higher than what? Than the actual that is given in the question. Am I talking? So that means you still need to carry out certain work. So with that, you now say value of chargeable crude oil sold you have local sales local sales is still how much since what since five three seven hundred you don't have any issue with that but for exports for export you now subject it to test for export you just see uh 190,000 working for the export 190,000 multiplied by multiplied by 52 times 306 naira. What does it give you? Three billion. Three billion. Three million. Call the figure you have, please. Three zero. Uh huh. Zero. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, you will discover that this one. Is higher. This one is higher than this that is given in the question. So, as a result of that, you will drop this one. Am I talking? You will drop this one. You are not going to make use of this higher one in your calculation. Am I talking? So, that is what the rule is telling us. So, telling you that for the export here, you will be having three. 023280 instead of 2,850 that you are having there before. And that is what they expect from you. So
So you must always subject it to test to know which one is higher because it is the higher one you are going to make it when you are calculating what crude oil suit for what i mean exported what crude oil am i communicating so you must always compare the two is it clear to you virtual students yes sir, yes, sir. did they test oil and gas last diet in the last diet do we have oil and gas eh? question number one last diet do they test something like this here? Let's see it. Let us look at the question together. Last diet question. Oh yeah, let's see what we have. They are relating to this sales of crude oil. So that by the time we start to be solving question, it won't be a problem. Can we get it? Okay, we have it in the question you said the other time. It, it was question number four last time. Somebody said it was question number one. Oh yeah, have you sent it? So if you can get that aspect, other things will be very easy for you to get as far as oil and gas is concerned. So it is important that you test it to know which one you are going to make use. Have you seen it? I will test you on this before we move on because I must be sure that you know it. Oh yeah, can you please give me that one? I have another one I'm going to give to you here. Oh yeah. Have you sent it? Okay. Thank you. I will forward it to the virtual students now. How many pages? Three. Huh? Three. Three pages for your question. They want to kill somebody. Eight in virtual. Have you received it? Have you received the virtual student? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
Jaja Petroleum Limited was granted an oil mining license in January 2001 for exploration of oil and gas in onshore and shallow water operation. Onshore and offshore. Offshore is what? Are you getting me? Onshore is what? Okay. Now, for 20 years and a further renewal of 20 years, if application is an expiration of the initial license in the 31st December, the company decided not to apply for extension of its current license under the petroleum profit regime and opted for automatic conversion on January 2000, January for 2021 to petroleum mining lease as enshrined in Petroleum Industry World at Industry Hack 2021. The following details were what? The following details were extracted from the financial statement of the company for the year ended, 31st December 2021. We have crude oil sold. We have burning light, uh, actual price, fiscal price. Are we okay? After that, we have medium and what we have this. Uh, con con condensate from associated that those are gas are we these are what gases the other two are gases we will not come on that oil and gas okay now ladies and gentlemen let's move on you know we have actual price and we have fiscal price that fiscal price is going to stand as a word posted am i talking so let us continue we have expenses we've not seen the quantity that are sold have we seen it Oh, quantity, quantity, million in barrel, 7.1, 7.5, and 5.2. Uh -huh. What's not in this question? Let's see the additional information. As far as this one is concerned, we don't have any issue other than to multiply 7.5 by what? 77, and 5.2 by what? 70. Are we okay? We don't have any issue as far as that one is concerned. Except we have additional information that are stated otherwise. Are we okay? So let us continue. In the other information here, expenditure, we have expenditure, all these appraisal, this, that. Miscellaneous expenses were gas, like donation to offer new job, terminating costs, whatever, stamp duty, signature bonus for the world, agree capital allowance, production allowance after commencement of the act. Assuming that 440 naira is equivalent to US $1, are we? And tax liability payable will be in local world, local currency. Are we okay? So, complete the relevant assessment here the company hydrocarbon tax liability and common income tax liability. This is a question of Fentima. That hydrocarbon tax liability, you know what you are going to calculate there? Eh? Now, and company's income tax liability. That company income tax liability is going to be based on, on gas. So that means we need to add, add, be able to identify what are the expenses that are, pe that are specific to each of these world items. Now, and where, that is not exactly where I am going. You know, under this production, note seven there, production allowances after commencement of the year, we have onshore. Onshore relates to what? It relates to what? To gas. Are you getting me? Offshore is the one that relates to what? Shadow water operation. That one is the one that relates to what? To the other one are we okay to oil and gas agree capital allowance for the year 4.5 million okay there is no problem with this issue of calculation of these things here no problem we are we are we know the the number of barrel and the amount has been given that means we are going to be talking of 77 and what multiplied by 7.5 converted by 54 440 are you getting again we'll be having what 3. Point, no, 5.2 for crude oil. You know, we have crude oil burning life for cardo, and we have we burn light and we have for cardo, which is what? Medium. Are you getting 5.2 multiplied by what? 70 as converted by what? 440 what? Naira. So there is no issue in this one. This is not the type one I'm talking, the type I'm talking of. 
So yeah, let's see this one. Sales of crude oil. Do take down this question, please. Sales of crude oil. Yeah, take down this question. Sales of crude oil. One million three hundred thousand barrels. Sales of crude oil. One million three hundred thousand barrels. One million three hundred thousand barrel. Are we okay? Now, additional information on that crude oil. Crude, crude oil says, crude oil says, crude oil says, consists of, consists of. 80% exported. 80% exported. Exported at posted price. At posted price of US dollars 70. That is 70 US dollars per barrel. A barrel. Why the remainder was so locally? The remainder was so locally at 520 naira per barrel. 520 naira per barrel. Are we okay? The average rate of exchange, the average rate of exchange was 305 Naira. 305 Naira to one US dollars. To one US dollars. Required. Calculate the value of chargeable crude oil sold. 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 Are we okay? Can we please try this one? Oh yeah, everybody. This was part of a whole question in November 2019 diet.
เสร็จครับอายุทรูวิดีเวชั่นวัตถุสุดเด่นถ้าฟิลิชิตวัตถุสุดเด่นถ้าฟิลิชิตถ้าฟิลิชิตนี่คือคำถามง่ายๆที่ผมจะตอบ Solution. Local saves. This is twenty percent or one million. Multiply by how much? Multiply by five hundred twenty naira. Do you all get this local sales? Yes. And what does it give you? One three five. Uh huh. One three five two hundred thousand. One thirty five million two hundred thousand. Okay. So that means export. Export sales will be twenty percent of what? Eighty percent. Sorry. Or one point three million times how much? Three or five. Times three or five. Times seven. Okay. Times three or five. five. And what does it give you? Two what? Twenty-two billion two hundred and four million. Uh huh. Twenty-two billion two hundred and four million. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are going to have in the question. Can we say that this one is too technical to get? No. We are not giving anything. We are going no. to compare this with. Even if you say you want to compare it with Lucas, you will see that it is far beyond what you are going to be having for Lucas. We might talk to you. So it can come this way as well. That of the last year, you don't need to be just that one has been given straight away. That of last year, that of last year is this one. Uh, it's just like this one as well. Are we okay? You multiply the quantity of balance show by what? By the price, and you use conversion rate. And that is what. Okay. Yes. It is what is more than actual that is given. That one is the posted. Uh, yes, higher. Ah, yeah. And again, another thing is that they don't specify whether it is for domestic or war or export. You assume that it is exported. Am I talking? Are you getting it?
ladies and gentlemen, and all of this. So I will still look for other ways that really can set question on this world. Um, say of food oil because it is one of the major things on that world, oil and gas. If you miss it at the beginning, one can miss every other thing. Am I talking because it is going to affect our accessible process? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us see what we have on the second question here. Question number two. Question number two. Soros OK Company. Soros OK Company Limited constructed a refinery with 10 million barrels capacity. For 50 million naira only. In 2007, the company produces 2 million barrels of crude oil deposited in a refinery for speculation purpose. Do you have anybody that is having it, whatever on? Do you have your gadget on? I'm, I'm talking of the voice. The cost of oil to similar refinery, what? I think that's Which the question are we talking to? Page 12. We are on page 12. So, a local company limited constructed the refinery with 10 million barrels capacity for 50 million naira only. In 2007, the company produced 2 million barrels of crude oil deposited in the refinery for speculation purposes. The cost of transporting crude oil to similar refinery is 150 naira per barrel. Royalty and storage costs in refinery by standard in the country stood at 175 naira respectively. The company policy is to depreciate all its assets at 15 percent and spend two million cash for the maintenance of refinery. You are required to calculate the value of chargeable crude oil disposed of for tax purposes. Now, when we are talking about value of chargeable crude oil, who is that? Kindly mute your mic, please. Hello? Hello? Mute your mic. Hello? Now, value of chargeable crude oil dispose of, how do we calculate it now? Value of chargeable crude oil disposed of. This is the second word, income. Ordinarily, they used to give this figure in the question on that way longer, but you might as well be required to calculate it. Are we okay? If you are required to calculate it, that means we will be having what? Reduced quantity multiplied by what? Posted price. Are we? Are we? Reduced quantity Times posted price uh -huh, plus what? Plus what? Maintenance what? Eh? Plus which cost? Transportation cost, maintenance cost, including depreciation. Are we okay? We have what? Maintenance cost. Uh -huh. Transportation cost. This maintenance cost, including depreciation and what? Transportation cost. Don't forget that reduced quantity multiplied by posted price. We call it value of what? Value of oil disposed. Reduced quantity times posted price is the value of oil disposed. Are we? So these together 
is the value of what? Value of oil. This post. So when we have now known this, uh, and the reduced quantity, there is a way that we use to calculate what? Reduced quantity. We can have reduced quantity as well. Total production, the total number of the quantity you have produced, less what? Quantity used. Uh -huh. Less what? Quantity returned to formation, and less what? Quantity lost. That loss may be true evaporation, it may be true other means. Am I communicating? So we have, how are we going to get reduced quantity here? Is there any information on the reduced quantity? So, we have Solosoke Limited constructed a refinery with 10 million barrels capacity for 50 what? For 50 million naira only. In 2007, the company produced 2 million naira. I mean, to company produce 2 million barrels of crude oil, Abi. So that means production is what? 2 million. Two million barrels. I don't think we have anyone that is reduced a return to our formation. We don't have them here. No quantity is given as being returned to formation. That means this one is going to be a straightforward calculation there. Now, again, we have what? The cost of transporting crude oil to refinery is what? 150 per what? Per barrel. Royalty and storage costs in refinery by standard in the country, true that how much? 100 naira and what? 75 naira. The company policy is to depreciate all these assets at what? 15% and spend how much? 2 million for cash maintenance for what? For the maintenance of what? Of the refinery. Are we okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are required to calculate the value of chargeable crude oil disposal for tax purposes. Now, in the formula, formula for the calculation of value of chargeable crude oil, I mean, disposed of, do we have royalty and storage cost there? Eh? We don't have royalty, and so that means the royalty and storage cost, there are going to be another calculation entire, entirely. So those are the royalty cost, storage cost that will be allowable deduction. Are you getting me? When we get to the calculation of this. So the cost of transportation of crude oil to similar refinery is how much? 150. So that means transport cost will be used. Are we okay? We have okay. We have maintenance co transportation cost here is how much? Two what? Two million naira. Are we? The transport of crude oil to similar refinery is how much? One okay, transportation is what 10 million multiplied by how much 150 naira. What does he give us? What does he give us? One million. One point five billion naira. Are we okay? Beside that, we have maintenance cost. How much is maintenance cost? Depreciation working on depreciation depreciation will be ten ten what ten million 
I mean, two million. You know, they produce two million for that year. Okay, that means this one is going to be based on two million, not ten million. Ten million is the total capacity. Sorry. So this one is two million. I've been searching for that two million. No. So two million multiplied by one fifty. That means this one is going to change. Are we okay? So let's and gentlemen, we have depreciation two million all over ten million multiplied by fifty percent of fifty million. How much? Two million over ten million is ten million barrels, not naira. Two million over ten million times fifty million. What does it give us? That will give us how much? Ten million naira. What is fifteen percent of ten million? One million five hundred. Depreciation is one million five hundred thousand. Are we okay? What of this other one that we have here? Two million times one fifty. What? Three hundred million. We are not given posted price in this question. Are we okay? So assuming we are given posted price, we are going to multiply that two million naira by what? By the posted price. Are we okay to arrive at what? So the total is what we are now going to add together. Let me check. Why is posted price missing? In 2017, the company produced 2 million barrels of crude oil, deposited in the refinery for speculation purpose. The cost of transport of crude oil to the similar is 550. Royalty and solid costs in the refinery by standard in the country stood at what? 175. Well, to the extent of the information we have, we don't have information for the posted price. Again, what, how much is the royalty? Though we are not expected, we are not told to calculate it, but we can calculate royalty costs. We can calculate what storage what storage cost based on the available information. Though they are not part of the value of chargeable crude or yet. So this one will just be two million, two million multiplied by what? Multiply by one hundred and multiply by what? Seventy-five. So whatever we have there, we may be required to calculate something like this as well. Though we are not given what posted price in this question, so we are limited in scope to calculate the total work. So whatever we have here is what we are going, just going to see as what as value of charging Bukuru Doel disposal of because we don't have what we don't have the information on what on the amount of posted price. Assuming we have the information on the amount of posted price, and we are going to multiply that two million naira by what. By the posted price so far we don't know we are not given the word the quantity used quantity return to formation and the quantity loss so the quantity produced is going to be assumed to be our reduced word reduced quantity am i communicating so note this So, ladies and gentlemen, we have question number three there. Let's leave that for now. We have question number four. Let's leave it, but let's quickly move to question number five, which is the whole question. By the time we now solve that question number five, we can go for a short break. We can go for a break. Yes, solution to question number five. This is a full question. The account of Goldwell Oil Limited, it was past ICANN question as well. 
e petroleum a petroleum exploration company for the year ended 31 December 2010 revealed that a crude oil exported was 1 million 400,000 barrels. Crude oil locally disposed of at 35 naira per barrel, 750,000 barrels. For the crude oil locally sold, there is no problem with it. Are we okay? Exploration cost 16 million naira. Incidental income from petroleum operation 1 million 250,000. Management had not me, no problem 14. Depreciation, provision for bad debt, specific bad debt allowed, they are in. Are we okay? Again, we have non-productive friend. Schedule of qualifying capital expenditure. This is a direct question. It is not difficult at all. It's a very small question, but it was tested in one day, as small as it is. Are you getting me? Require compute tax liability of the company for the year, assuming that the international market price of crude oil during the year was 12 naira per barrel at the exchange rate of almost 160 naira. So this one is quite a long time. So let's and gentlemen, let's solve the question. We have computation of tax liability. What was the name of the company? Good Well Oil. Of chargeable what? Chargeable tax. For which year? For 2010 tax year, crude oil sold. Crude oil. For crude oil sold, domestic, that is local. Crude oil sold local, we will be having what? Same what? Multiply by what? What does he give us? We don't have problem with that. 750 barrels multiplied 35 by 35 naira. How much does he give us? 26 million. We have what? Export. Export is 1 million 400,000 barrels. Let's go to the additional information. International market price of crude oil during the year was how much? Twelve dollar per barrel multiplied by how much? One sixty naira. What does it give us? Two billion. Do we have other incidental income? Other incidental income from petrol. One, we have it, and we don't have any adjustment that we have impact on it. We don't have. One million two fifty thousand. Are we okay? Sum everything together to arrive at total income. What do we have? The next one is now a liable word.
allowable expenses. You need to familiarize yourself with allowable expenses. Exploration costs. Yeah. What? Net profit, if you are given net profit directly, that means you are going to walk back, to hard back. I, I, what, you are going to identify those non-allowable ones, deduction. You had them back. Are you getting me? Any allowable one that they have not deducted, you deduct. So, so you will be looking for income or thereabout because it is already part of it. Are we okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, we have what? Exploration cost. How much is exploration cost? 16 million. Again, after this one, we have management and admin. How much? Depreciation is non-allowable deduction. Bad debts. Specific. How much is specific? One million. We have non-productive friends. Non-productive rent is what? Which other thing do we have in the question? No other thing. What did they test in the question? Now, education tax. Education tax is part of allowable deduction. Am I talking? Education tax is part of what? Allowable what? Deduction. So we need to calculate it. So working for the education tax. Working. So this will be two. As at that time, it is still 2%. All over what? 102. Multiply by what? 2,715,500. 2 minus what? That's what? 32,406. And what do we have? What is it? Education class. Five two. Six zero nine six one zero. Sum everything together. What does it give us? Eighty five. What is adjusted for your accessible profit? Accessible profit is one billion. Uh -huh. well, no, one, two million. Uh -huh. Six thirty. Four eight four. The next thing is to deduct your capital of allowances. Which will be the lower of what? A.
We need to calculate capital allowance. Abi. And there are two assets that were acquired during the year. So we need to calculate petroleum investment allowance on those assets that were acquired during that year as well. Am I talking? Now, ladies and gentlemen, on this, let's see what our calculation. So we have computation. of petroleum investment allowance calculation of petroleum investment allowance we have asset here type of asset we have tank and we have building Location. We have what? 180 meter water depth. And we have what? Onshore. 180 meter water depth and what? And onshore. Now, what is the percentage that each will attract? This one we attract five percent. Why this one attract what? Fifteen percent. Are we okay? Now, what is fifteen percent? Okay, amount. We have not stated the amount there. Amount. Amount is how much? Four million. And what? Oh yeah. 15% of 4 million. What? Can we learn that figure? 5% of 4 million. 200. Sum the two together. Capital allowance computation. On all the four assets, I believe we have four assets there. The four assets, we have type, asset type. We have plants. A machine, we have furniture and what? We have furniture and everything. We have what? Story tank. We have building. Amount is how much? After that, we have what? Followed by? Followed by what? So, ladies and gentlemen, depreciation percentage. 20%, 20, 20, and what? 20. I don't know if I'm about to take the year. Let me take the year. It is still in order. Abby? So what do we have here? One million two hundred thousand. The next one. 
400,000. Eight. Sum everything together as annual allowance. How much? Three million. Three million two hundred thousand. What is the next thing? So we've got this. Now we are now having annual allowance. Have you summed everything up? Three million two hundred thousand, and we have what? Petroleum investment allowance. How much? What? After that, we have what? Balancing. Allow we don't have it in this question. After that, we have what capital allowance brought forward. We don't have it in this question. So you just sum these together. What was the addition of this? Three million two hundred plus eight hundred for what? Four million. Are we okay? The next one and what? And B. 85% of accessible profit less what? 170% of what? Petroleum investment what? Allowance. How much is our accessible profit here? Two million six thirty. Are we? What is eighty five percent of two million six thirty? Eighty five percent of two 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 billion six thirty million four hundred and eighty eight million. What does it give us? Huh? Two billion two three five nine. Nine one one. Nine one one. What is one seventy percent of petroleum profit allowance? How much is petroleum profit allowance? Eight hundred. I mean, what is one seventy percent of it? One what? One million. One three sixty. One million three hundred and sixty. Good. So this one will be deducted. What do we have? Eighty what? What is chargeable profit? Two six two. Are we? Are we? Two six two six four eight eight. Is it so? Four eight eight. Okay, four eight four.
Two says what? Two says, uh huh. Two six. Two six four eight four. Uh huh. Is that the way you dictate? Two six. Two six. Uh huh. Two six. Uh huh. Four eight four. Okay. And we have chargeable time. 48 what? Four eight eight. Four eight four. Chargeable tax. Eighty five percent of our money. Eighty five percent of these lots. What do we have? What? Two million what? Two million. Two, million. two three two. Five one one. But it's not correct. Uh -oh. Two, two, three, two, three, two, uh -huh. one, Five. one, four hundred. Five, one, one. Abby, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of that word of that question. So you can see the pattern we follow, most especially the calculation of capital allowances. It is very important that you know how to determine your capital allowance under petroleum profit work, that oil and gas. Are we okay?